Now, the, you can, it, this is quite abstract, but I'm going to give you a, just a simple, like the simplest of ways in which we can be witnesses, simplest of ways in which we can claim protection, dedication, surrender, and prayer, and also be a witness. One of the most powerful prayers we pray that we don't even realize is a prayer that we do very often as Catholics several times a day is we make the sign of the cross. When we began this Mass, we began with the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But I don't know if we really understand what the sign of the cross is, why we do it. It's not just a gesture. It's not just a Catholic Tourette that we do out, uh, without knowing what we do. There is power, there is significance in the sign of the cross. At the moment, we're working on a, on a course on, on Mass, explaining the Mass, and it, this will be one of the things we do explain in depth, but I want to explain it to you now. As Catholics, why do we make the sign of the cross? Well, I explain a few things about why we do this. First of all, as Catholics, when we make the sign of the cross, we hold our hands like this. You know, we make the sign of the cross this way. This is a gesture of blessing. This is a gesture of declaring God's blessing over us. So when the priest blesses the people, he blesses the people holding his hands in the same way. Greek Orthodox, on the other hand, pray the sign of the cross, not with this gesture, but with this gesture. And they make the sign of the cross like that. Why? Beautiful significance as well. As they do it, they hold their three fingers together. And that signifies the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Then their two fingers left out like this to signify the, the, the divinity and the humanity of Christ. And they sign in the name of the Trinity, in the name of the humanity, and acknowledging the humanity and the divinity of Christ. That's how we make the sign of the cross. But there are three things that happen, amongst many others, when we make the sign of the cross. The first thing that happens is that we are claiming the protection of Jesus Christ as we make the sign of the cross. So we're making the sign of the cross. The cross is our protection. The blood of Jesus is the only thing that's going to cover you protect you from evil in the spiritual battle that we face. As we make the sign of the cross, we are consciously or subconsciously or even without knowing, declaring that the cross be over us, the blood of Jesus be over us, that we be protected from all evil. This is a prayer of deliverance every time we make the sign of the cross. The second thing that we do when we make the sign of the cross is that we make it in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, but we, we put our hands on our head. God, I surrender my mind to you, my thoughts to you. I surrender my intellect to you. I surrender my heart to you as you put your hand on your chest. And then, so my mind, my heart, my body on, on, the, on the left shoulder, and my soul on the right shoulder. Lord, I surrender my mind, my heart, my body, and my soul to you. Amen, I agree, I surrender. So it's a prayer of surrender. That's the second thing. The third thing that the sign of the cross is, it is a witness. It is unmistakably a Catholic gesture. So if you are out at a restaurant, if you're at home and you pray, uh, uh, you begin the prayer. It's a, 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 an act of commencement. As we surrender, we commence our prayer. But it is also an incredible witness. I, I was just on a plane yesterday, and I made the sign of the cross as we began to take off. And people looked at me and thought I was crazy. They maybe thought I was superstitious. Well, like, what's this guy's problem? But, you see, they knew beyond the shadow of a doubt, okay, fair enough, I'm a priest, but they knew beyond the shadow of a doubt that I was Catholic. And when we're at a restaurant, making the sign of the cross, when we pray for people, when we were out on the street and praying the rosary, making the sign of the cross, you see, this is a beautiful witness, bringing the cross, proclaiming, and I know it's embarrassing, 
I know it's difficult. I find it really embarrassing to make the sign of the cross when I'm at a restaurant, especially when I'm surrounded by people who I know are gonna get embarrassed by me making the sign of the cross at their table. But I do it anyway. You see, we're called to be witnesses as Jesus gave this commandment to the apostles, sometimes in big things, in words, sometimes in small things, in gestures like the sign of the cross. Other times it's one-on-one, -on -one, other times it's in public. But we are called to be this witness. And making the sign of the cross is, this is what it is. It is ultimately a sign of protection, a sign of an act of dedication, and also proclamation, a sign of witness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.